Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we're gonna look at the Clever Box Planner. This is a planner that is on Amazon. It is $19.99 and it comes in this really pretty keepsake box and it is really durable, but it comes in a bubble mailer from Amazon and it did get damaged because um, I think it went through some really traumatic shipping because usually my bubble mailers from Amazon Amazon are not damaged at all, but this bubble mailer had a huge hole dug into it, like a complete hole that dug through the bubble and everything. So I don't think you can expect to normally get a damaged box, but luckily it completely protected the planner. Um, it was just whatever happened to this envelope, it looks like it went through something very scary from Amazon. So this is a clever box. I actually love their keepsake boxes. Because as you guys know, I love keepsake boxes. I've said that before. I reuse them for all different kinds of things for storage. Then in your planner, you have a little um, Clever Fox card, kind of telling you a little bit about their company. You have a happy card. They want to know anything about the planner that you are not happy about. They really care about that. It also comes with... Uh, three pages of these icon stickers, which is awesome. It just comes with that for $19.99. So you have um, three pages, which will kind of take you far into the year, I feel like. In these primary colors um, icon stickers, you have dinner, you have exercise, you have gifts, you have like traveling, up arrow, I'm not sure what that's for, money, heart, reading, and like meditation or yoga. So it does come with those stickers every planner and it comes like I said in this really nice box that I actually love it's really heavy duty it's not a cheap box at all so I love to be able to have that to reuse okay let's get into this it also comes with this how to use this planner card now I have had people comment before they don't like the pages that come in the front of the planners Telling them how to use the planners, I've had comments like this, they wish it was an insert card like this so that it wasn't actually in your planner. And so this company, Genius, they did that. I also love how the card is in color because it makes things stand out. It makes it easier to read and use, in my opinion, than an all black and white card. So they take you through the planner. In step one, they take you how to start out filling out your gratitudes and your daily rituals. They talk you through um, the vision board, setting your goals, and breaking down your one-year goals. Then they talk you through the monthly layout and some different ways to use that and your weekly layout. So I really do think this card is helpful for their planner. It might just give you some ideas that you hadn't thought of. And I love that they include this and I love that it's on a separate nice card. I really do. Because also, I find it easier to use this way. You can be going through your planner to these different pages as you're reading and looking at the card. When it is just in the front of your planner as other pages, you have to be flipping everywhere. So I think this card is so much smarter than having a page in the planner like this. Okay, so it comes in three colors, orange, black, and hot pink right now. This is a non-dated weekly. And it's supposed to be to achieve your goals, increase productivity, passion, and happiness in your life. So in, to increase passion and happiness in your life also, not just productivity. Here is what their little leaflet says. Stay focused on your goals, build positive habits, feel happier, increase productivity, live a more fulfilled life. This is 200 pages. It is a weekly undated. And we're going to go over all these things that are included in it. I do not know the GSM or the paperweight as of right now. I have emailed to try to find out because it's not on Amazon where I can see it. If I find out, I will stick it in the video right here. Okay, so this planner comes with a great pocket, an accordion pocket that will hold a lot and feels very heavy duty. It comes with a great pin clip, which I feel like... Um, is made well too and holds a pen really well and is not too hard to get it in and out. Even this really fat paper mate enjoy that I just happen to have sitting here. So the pen holder seems great to me. 
the band on the back seems great to me and I always just leave those folded in when I'm not using them. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. This is designed in Europe and crafted with care in China on 100% recycled paper. I do like that. Um, I mean, I like the recycled paper part is what I'm saying. Here is your nameplate page. And here we go. We get right into our pages and you have your guide to go along with you. So my gratitude and self-awareness. I am grateful for what I am passionate about, what brings me joy in my life. My daily rituals, which are skills to learn and habits to adopt this year. And my affirmations. I really like that it has a spot for your affirmations in here because that's not something most planners have. And honestly, after reading The Miracle Morning and doing some affirmations myself, I really find them something um, that can be a real influence, a real help in your life. And I think it's great that they leave a space right there for it my vision board. So they talk you through this on the page, but you can do whatever you want with this page. And they give you some great ideas to make your vision board. My goals. So they have your goals divided up into these life areas, health, business, career, family and friends, significant other and romance, finance, personal development, fun and recreation and spiritual. Then you have like space for three goals in every single one of those categories. And I personally myself would not force myself to come up with three goals in every single category. You know, so I think it's just what, what do you want to accomplish? Just because there are three spaces there, I wouldn't force myself to fill in every single space. But that's just my opinion. Okay, so then you pick your five main goals to work on. What is your focus? And you write them out here. Then you have place for a mind map and they take you through that to, um, you know, break down your goals right here into achievable uh, timelines and steps. And that's what the mind map is there to help you with. Then you go into your monthly spreads. Your 12 monthly spreads are all up front because it is an undated planner. You have a gray circle to write your date in every day. Then you have your plan for the month. So you can write in the month and the year up here. You have your plan for the month. Habits to adopt, skills to learn, things to avoid, places to go, people to see. Um, I think that that's very familiar to one, you know, popular planner that we all know. Um, but many of the other things in this planner are different. And so I wanted to do this review for you. I will be honest and tell you, I have been asked to do reviews of other planners that seem way too similar, like just adopting like everything from another planner, from a more popular planner. And I refuse to do those reviews. I have actually turned a couple people down and not in a rude way, just saying it is too similar to this other planner. So this one I felt really had some unique aspects and I will show you when we get into the weekly spread. So you have this month's goals and you have a big space down there. This month's wins and how I'll improve next month. So of course this side's to be filled out before, you know, right when you're starting your month and planning it and this side is for the end of the month, kind of like a wrap up and you know, a looking back, a reflection on your wins and how you're gonna improve next month. So you have 12 monthly spreads, just like that. And they are all up front, okay? Then you're gonna go into your weeks. And we have a pen test right here. So right after your last monthly spread, it goes straight into your weeks. Let's talk about the pen test and then we will talk about the weekly layout. So I tested all my main pens here. I did a darker mild liner and a lighter mild liner. And as you can see, you can tell even better with the month being behind it than if we had another day behind it, I think, because there's just more white space on the month. And honestly, this paper has held up amazing. The paper actually feels really good to me. I think it has to be at least 70 to 80 GSM. Um, I'm sorry, 70 to 80 pound paper, which would be, you know, around 100 GSM is my guess of what this paper is. And so it's amazing. Like the only thing I can tell even a tiny bit is the dark, dark mild liner. And you probably can't even see that. 
So for the pen test, it has passed with flying colors. It lays flat right away. I didn't even have to massage the book at all either. So they've done a great thing with this sewn spine and the spine, it functions really well. You get three ribbons of three different colors, red, green, and blue. And that's nice because you can mark your month, you can mark your week, and then you can mark your extra note pages at the back, which there is a ton. And I love that too. So, okay, so there, the pen test is amazing. Let's go to the next week where I don't have anything written and talk about the weekly layout. So you have a header up here to write your month and your year on. And then you have a horizontal layout on one side of your whole week. Saturday and Sunday do have to share a box, but they get an extra line because there's only three lines for each day of the week. And there are five lines for Saturday and Sunday. So I feel like it's almost giving you the same amount of room there in ample space. Um, it's enough room to, you know, write your big appointments or your big to-dos of the day. Here is where your uh, gray box is, where you write in your numbered days. And then over here, so you get a glance of, at your week, at your appointments and at your days. And in the same scope, in the same page, you are staring at your weekly goals, your weekly priorities, your notes, your personal to-do list for the week, your habits, and skills for the week building, this week's wins, and how I'll improve next week. I personally really like this layout. It is different than um, all these other bound goal center planners that I have done and that I have videos on. It's different because you're having your week at a horizontal right here. And then you are having all your other um, lists and trackers for the week right here. I personally like this layout. It works with my mind. Um, so this week's main goal, reward if achievable, right there. This week's priorities, I love having that, a box for the week's priorities. Notes, so anything that you need to put in this dot grid section. Personal to-do list, habits and skills that you're building. So a habit tracker for that week. And you have up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven habits. This week's wins, you have three lines, and how I'll improve next week. And that's it. You have all your weekly spreads to last you for an entire year. That's all it is, all your weekly spreads. It, like I said, the paper feels very substantial, and this is even paper that smells good. I'll tell you that. Then you have a huge amount. I'm not sure how many because I couldn't find that listed on Amazon either, and I haven't counted but I would guess like 40, you have a really good amount of note pages here, which a lot of planners don't have. So they're all dot grid and they're all a very dark dot grid. And they're not numbered and they don't have an index, but you could certainly do that yourself and make the first page an index. For Since there are so many notes, I would probably make these first two pages an index page and then I would number all these note pages and that way if you make notes on a certain thing and you need to find it, you can go look in your index. But I love that there's all these note pages at the end and the planner doesn't seem too big or bulky or heavy at all. The cover actually has a really amazing feel. Um, I'm sure it is just like a leatherette, but it feels really soft. Um, it feels durable, but it just feels really soft and good in the hand. So not like a cheap leatherette or a slick one. It's just, it's really soft. So I, with all the planners out there that are very similar to this one, I am actually really impressed with this Clever Fox planner. As I wanted to add in, even though my Panda Planner Weekly is a big size, eight and a half by 11, and this is just your A5 size, I wanted to add in a really quick comparison because the Clever Fox people actually asked me to do that. Um, of these two planners. So I wanted to add, kind of show you the main differences in the weekly layout in these two planners. So for Panda Planner, I do have an entire video on this if you're interested and you want to see more details. Before every week, you have this huge journaling reflection creativity page and you have your planning your whole week page right here. So big wins. This is a review of last week, how I'll improve. Planning your upcoming week, your goals, what you're looking forward to, habits to develop, learning something new and passion project, then four projects for the week, and five top goals for the week. So before every week in the Panda Planner Weekly, 
you have a two page spread for planning it out. And then you have your week and it is a vertical layout. So it is very different from Clever Fox. And in just in just the layout format. So first of all, you have these two extra pages before every week. And Clever Fox does not have that. Clever Fox, you just you go from week to week to week. You have this one page, and the one page also has your summary of this week's wins and how I'll improve next week. But you don't have that two-page spread in between a week. You have the vertical spread in this one. Panda Planner is horizontal spread. So you do have your daily habit, your weekly focus, your challenges, your weekly tasks, and notes space. So I would say the huge difference besides being vertical spread is that you have your timed schedule in Panda Planner from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. So if you are someone that needs to have room to write a lot of timed appointments, then you're going to need something with a timed schedule in it because this isn't going to be enough room to write all your timed appointments. If you're someone who doesn't need all those timed appointments like me, then you won't need all that room in a planner. They have very similar categories like today's wins and how I'll improve and focusing on your daily habits and weekly challenges or skills to learn. So those are some of the similarities, but they end in the basic layout of the page and in the fact that if you don't need a timed thing right here, then you might be someone like me who just likes to see your week this way. And I love how all my notes for the week and my plans for the week and my list for the week are right here on one page. So I think it's just a personal preference depending on what your life is like. What is your schedule like? And, you know, what feels more comfortable for you to use? What works for you? Yes, there are many planners out there that are similar, but I think Clever Fox has some really unique things to it. And that is why I agreed to do the review. And they just wanted me to show a quick comparison with Panda Planner in there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below and happy planning until next time. Bye-bye.